Borderlands has released the teaser for their movie. But let's just say it's been hijacked by old ladies. Yes, old ladies playing characters that aren't supposed to be old ladies. Let's dive into this video. I hate, I, I, I hate saying this because I adore Kate Blanchett. She is an amazing actress. I think she's beautiful. She really has done so much incredible work. But is she Lilith? No! Let's be real. She's too old to play Lilith. So we have this opening shot of her as Lilith. Here you have, that's pretty cool looking, right? But okay, Jamie Lee Curtis playing Patricia Tannis. Jamie Lee Curtis is 65 years old, you guys. Way too old for this. I'm not going to say as nice of things about her as I do about Kate Blanchett because I don't have as nice opinions about her. Uh, all right, so then you have Tiny Tina, who definitely does not look like Tiny Tina. Um, she's definitely thicker, okay? Um, so people might be offended by that, but me saying that, but let's be real. Tiny Tina, her, I mean, her name is Tiny Tina. <laughs> She's a very petite, slender character. So this already isn't working either. Um, all right. So you got Claptrap. We all love us some Claptrap. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be the full reveal, but it's just like Kate Blanchett again as Lilith. This just looks so out of place. Again, love her. She's a beautiful woman, great actress, but she looks so out of place in this role. So, okay, for some reason this wants to buffer. Um, so let me just show you guys for reference, for those who don't know, for those who don't know, let's zoom in here on like Kate. This is Lilith. <sighs> This is who they casted for Lilith. Now, Lilith at the time of Borderlands 3, correct me if I'm wrong, is supposed to be around 32 years old. Um, so here she is younger before that. But still, like, you know, 32 years old is still young. Definitely not for a 54-year-old actress is way too old to play this character. Let's be real. Does Kate look good? Does she? Is she beautiful? Yes, but it, she's not giving an accurate Lilith. All right. She's just not. And then when you go back to Jamie Lee Curtis, who is 65 playing this character, I don't know how old Patricia Tannis is supposed to be, but looking at her face, I would say 30s uh, to maybe even 40, 40 max. Um, or she could be younger. You just never know. But anyway, I would, I would guesstimate 30s. 240. Definitely not 65. Here she is, very beautiful. Borderlands really had some very beautiful characters. Um, but the thing is, though, I mean, come on. They didn't even dye her hair to match the right color. Like, oh, they butchered this. Butchered this. And you can't tell me this isn't for political reasons or woke reasons. And people get so mad when I use the term woke. But what else do you call it? Do you think it's just sheer coincidence that all the women casted in this, the prominent women that were beautiful characters are old ladies. And then Tiny Tina, who was this very slender character, is now thick. Let me just show you guys Tiny Tina. Let me make sure. I mean, dude, they miscasted all of this. Tiny Tina is, as her name implies, she's tiny. So, like, look. She's like this psychotic, tiny, cute character. And, yeah. She's little. She's short. She's skinny. She, her name is, her name, Tiny Tina, <laughs> fits her. So, no, this character isn't even, and one can argue, like, they want to argue about stuff, and they don't want to, like, oh, we don't want to over-sexualize her or whatever, but this isn't a sexualized character design. By default, it already isn't. So, why 
did you have to change Tiny Tina from this petite character to so this girl and like no shade to that girl but come on she just doesn't it's not given this vibe it's just not but I feel like that's the least egregious thing going on here I think the worst things are the the terrible miscasting of Lilith and Patricia. They got the shortest end of the stick here. So, I mean, and let's be real. Borderlands in general went woke. And again, people get so salty about using the word woke, but it is what it is. It's just reality. So, they already started going woke in Borderlands 3. I was completely checked out from Borderlands 3, first of all, because the writing went severely downhill. The Borderlands 1 and 2 were funny. That was part of the appeal of the games was the comedy. It was hilarious. Hilarious. The writing was great. I got a lot of laughs out of Borderlands 1 and 2, but Borderlands 3, it felt like people who majored in gender studies wrote that. It was terrible. It was cringe. Like, how many D jokes in a row are they going to make? It was like, oh, I can't. I can't. can't do this. Not to mention they had a they, them character because, of course, let's throw in made up genders into this universe and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't even get that far into Borderlands 3. I was really disappointed because I was excited for it. Um, and, yeah, that excitement quickly went downhill as I kept playing the game and I was thinking were the first two games this bad the humor because I thought they were funny like was the writing this bad but no it was just worse in three and so now you I, I just I just cannot be convinced otherwise that the this was extremely deliberate to cast old ladies Again, no disrespect to Kate Blanchett, legend, but you can't tell me that this wasn't a deliberate, concerted effort. It's like, oh, you can't have, let's not make Lilith too pretty now. Not that Kate Blanchett isn't pretty or beautiful, but she's not. She's older. She's mature. So she doesn't fit the beauty standard the same as this does, okay? Uh... So that's just, that's just what it is. Um, so we have in the comments here, Brandon says, why does Lilith look 50? Um, and is Kevin Hart playing the most serious character of the games? L already. Um, some people for some reason are excited about it. I'm really curious about Moxie. <laughs> what they're going to do with her. <laughs> I'm trying to think, is, is Betty White still alive? If so, she's available for the role. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't think she is. Sad day. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. I like the overall style and stuff going on here. And here you see Kate Blanchett. Yeah, she's working it, but it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. This just seems very off. I would rather have had an animated movie than all that. Skeptical look says, no, Mordecai. Mordecai was my was my main uh, in the first game. So then we have Esteban who says, I guess this is a joke. Tomorrow we will see the poster and the real characters. Good comedy video or so, I hope, for real. For real, that's what you would think. But this is definitely just where we're at. We're, we're at this point with in the gaming industry and in Hollywood and all this kind of stuff, for some reason, they are just, they hate beautiful women. And I think that at the core of it, a lot of that boils down to, um, they want more of a an androgynous world. I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis is inherently androgynous. Um, 
Kate Blanchett, while I wouldn't call her androgynous by any step, they still um, put a mature woman in the role instead of somebody who is more fitting and who is supposed to be a siren. Lilith is a siren. So that let that sink in. That is supposed to be next level beautiful. And I'm not by any means at always the retort is, what do you want pornography in this? What do you want pornography? I never push for that kind of stuff or even overt sexualization. I'm a Christian. So yeah, I, I, I don't think that's necessary. But there is nothing wrong with beautiful women. And these characters were created as beautiful women. And they are hiring people who are too old for the role. Um, and it was a deliberate thing. So I don't know. Anyway, there you have it. That's where we're at. This looks like trash to me. I hate that that I really hate that Kate Blanchett's name is on this because she deserves better. But I digress. That's that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you guys want to catch my streams, I've been streaming the Tomb Raider remasters lately. Uh, check out my streaming channel on YouTube, Kick or Twitch, all at Melanie Mac. And if you want me to read the Bible to you, you can check out my Bible reading channel at Bible Time with Melanie Mac here on YouTube. So thank you all again for watching. I'll catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Miles Morales.